My name is Israel. I'm a member of Johnny Church. Um, I've been attending Johnny Church for probably two months. I recently moved from Nigeria to Canada and met family. And um, so, um, basically, uh, my personal conviction is that um, as Christians, um, the call for us to serve is more pressing during difficult times. Um, so, when the COVID 19 pandemic emerged, uh, I was nudged to actually like, um, to look for opportunities in the community and was inspired to actually um, to cater for the seniors and basically. Um, the medical advice is that during the lockdown, um, they should stay indoors. But I knew that um, if we get to a point where they have to stop and get groceries and consumables. The idea I had was that if there could be a platform where we could connect volunteers and everyone for the seniors, then it idea dropped in my mind. I knew that um, because I'm new, I'm new in Calgary and Canada, I had no network, so I knew how to reach out to those who could help me. So I sent a couple of meals to the church leadership at Johnny Church and we were, we were very receptive to the idea and the content with awesome volunteers like Noreen and here we are. And I'm Noreen Music and I've been attending Journey Church for almost two years and this is where I come in. I reached out to Pastor Jan and, and uh, said, you know, if there was any opportunities to volunteer and she had put me in touch with Israel who um, had this amazing vision for extended family and so Israel and I partnered together and uh, we have a great website and Journey Church has been a great supporter uh, of this. We really believe that, um, you know, this is a time where Jesus commanded us uh, to care for people and to help the least of these. And that is what we're doing. When we're serving people, we are caring for him. And that really is, is our goal uh, to help people through this crisis. So one of the, uh, uh, the people that called, uh, they, uh, it was an 81 year old lady. She had uh, no funds, no transportation. Um, they, uh, they had no food left in their cupboard. And so our initial offering was to do grocery pickup and delivery for people. And then we expanded that to include where we would actually do people's shopping as well as then delivery. And we quickly realized that there was um, a real need in the community for uh, emergency food hampers. Uh, you know, we've gotten more of those phone calls. Uh, and so Journey has provided us with some funds through the benevolence and we've been donating some pantry items and delivering to these folks. We've, um, we've delivered about five emergency hampers so far and we want to do more. So we'd love to get um, the message out that we're here and that we're willing to help and care for people in their time of need. Uh, there's nothing worse than uh, feeling food insecure and not having anything in your in your pantry. And so we really want to help people in these very practical, uh, practical ways. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we have um, a couple of volunteers that are working working really hard um, back end trying to make sure that we can get um to reach out to the seniors in need and those in need um so um, you know so so in our own little way we are flattening the curve and trying to save lives. And we'd ask that uh, there's a lot of ways that you can get involved with this ministry as a church family. Um, we'd ask first and foremost that you pray, that you uh, pray for the people that are struggling right now and that need our help, and that uh, you pray that this message uh, gets out to the people that need it, and also uh, prayer for our volunteers and for the recipients, just to keep them um, healthy and safe as we as we volunteer and go out in the community and shop and, and deliver uh, to these folks. And we'd also love for you to be really encouraged. We, um, we're seeing firsthand that God is really doing powerful things in our community through this crisis. And we know that this is a difficult time. We know that there's a lot of people struggling and have challenges, but we can help in really practical ways uh, to unburden people and just pray that as they're being nourished by the food that we're providing, that their souls are also being nourished, that they, uh, they know that uh, Jesus is the love and the hope and the inspiration 
uh, behind what we're doing. So the ways that you can get involved is we're doing a food donation drive uh, this Saturday, May 2nd, and May the 9th as well, between the hours of 2 and 4 p.m. So there's three ways that you can get involved. You can email us at calgaryextendedfamily at gmail.com if you'd like uh, a volunteer to come and pick up your grocery and non-perishable grocery items or you can uh, drop off your donation uh, items at the church on those two dates between those hours of two to four. Uh, and also you can give through the Tithely app if you uh, mark your donation uh, as the benevolence. What we're going to be doing is uh, purchasing a bulk uh, gift card from Calgary Co-op. They will give us a discount uh, up to 10% so that we can purchase fresh food items to include with the pantry items uh, when we get emergency hamper requests. So please help, pray for us, pray for all the recipients and be encouraged that God is doing amazing things. And I wanted to say one final thing is we may be filming in this empty church but the church isn't empty. We have been deployed. Now is our opportunity for our faith to become a verb and for us to live out our faith. So God bless and I hope your families are well and safe.